feet to the hoe, and we're ready to go. <laughs> oh god. Hi. Welcome back. It's been a while. I understand. I will explain later. Actually, I'll probably explain right now. But I finally got this working, and I got some decent recording equipment that's very good, even though it's still in beta, and it's free. Um, but I actually- <coughs> sorry, I'm sick, so if I start coughing a lot, I'm sorry. But, uh, it's free, and uh, it's in beta, but it works fantastically, and I'm still gonna play on easy mode. It's so bad. Uh, but, uh, yeah. If you, if you thought I was bad, two years ago, or whatever, uh, uh, that, that was with practice, and I haven't played this in about a year, so, let's go. <laughs> so anyways, um, I actually did practice this stage before I began, though, and I didn't die once, so that was good. But anyway, uh, the reason why I hadn't, uh, <laughs> the reason why I hadn't, uh, made one of these in, uh, a millennia is, um, basically I had every single, well, not every single, I had each, like, actual, like, I had each mainline shooter on my computer. Except for, like, nine. And the fighting games. Those are the only ones that I didn't have. And... Uh... Wow. Uh... Wait, no main ones for fighting games. I, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um... I didn't... Well, I had them all on my old computer. And, uh... I, I, I don't know why, but... One day, it died. Like, it, 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 it was not that my files got deleted or its memory got wiped. It just gave up and could not turn on. Like, we tried replacing the battery and everything. It was just gone. It was done. Uh, so, uh, went about a year. Thought I computer. Hi, Riggle. Love you. <laughs> but I, like, I went a year without a computer, and a year ago, I got a new computer. So why didn't I do this a year ago? Well, I tried. Uh, I tried with Bandicam, but it turns out that I can't get Bandicam to work right. Uh, and so I was lazy for the rest of that year. Uh, and now, in 2015, I found this great new free recording software, which I will probably link in the description. And scratch that, I probably won't, I'll forget. But it's great, and I can record my voice and uh, the, ga the game volume at the same time. And, uh... Yeah. So I can finally get it to work. And also I've just been busy with stuff. Personal stuff. But I'm back. Yeah, and it's like a, I didn't want to do it with like a hypercam because one, that logo is bad, and two, it wouldn't record the game sound. And I know I could probably get that to work somehow. However, I am too lazy to find out how, and also, I don't have it on this computer because it sucks. Anyway, yeah, I just beat the first stage without dying, I know. I beat the first stage of Imperishable Night without dying on easy mode. I am just a Toho prodigy, I know. Anyway. So now I'm basically blind in here. I'm not blind. I know about... I, I've played about... Yeah, that's why I like playing Raymond, because we're shots home. But, uh... 
yeah, I know I know more about Toho, even though I've only beaten this game. And I haven't even beaten it on normal. And I haven't even beaten it without getting good news. I don't know a lot about it. I don't know why. It's because, you know, I had a weeb phase, but it wasn't like a Naruto phase, it was just like a Toho phase. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Also, you guys have been- oh. Uh, you guys have been, uh, yelling at me to do this. And so, if people in real life, you know who you are. Uh, and you're probably gonna be watching this. But, uh, yeah, here I am. Back again. Anyway. Uh, I I'm just gonna skip through all the text. I don't really care. Don't watch the first video, because it's really bad, and I, like, spliced in music over this, and it's I'm probably just gonna call this part one, and I'll, like, delete the first video, or just call it, like, part zero, don't watch this. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, I'll just call this one redemption, but, uh, anyway, uh, if you didn't watch that video, and I don't suggest that you do, I'm um, gonna skip through all the text, but if you don't know what this is, uh, Toho is just a series of games, uh, bullet hell games, as uh, so you can probably see why. Uh, even though this is the easy mode, uh, there's a ton of bullets, and if you get by one, you die. And basically, you're just trying to go through, uh, there's about 14 of them now? I'm not too keen on... I know the most about, uh, 6 through 12. I don't know a lot about, uh, I don't know about, a lot about Ten Desires or Hopeless Masquerade, or anything, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is the seventh one. Uh, basically, it's called Imperishable Night. Uh, and basically, it's something like the moon was stolen and got replaced by a fake moon, and we're like, that seems a bit weird, we should go check that out. So, we are. Uh... But yeah, they're a fun little series of games. They're hard, but they're fun. So, who you knows. Also, I'm learning how to press shift. And it's helping me. <laughs> also, they have really good music. And I hope I have the game volume uh, loud enough so you can hear it. I had to adjust the, like all my volume levels before I tried, because I didn't want to be too loud, or made my voice to be too loud. My voice is probably going to still be too loud, but it's fine. I could probably adjust that later. Wait, no I can't, because I'm going to be recording with my voice. I'm stupid. But, uh, anyway. Yeah, kind of the downside to pressing shift and... Well, well, basically, the thing with the Imperial Knight is that you basically have the choice of going with, like, a duo mode, or, like, uh, playing, like, one of the characters. And the downside to going into, like, that, um, oh yeah, this is, like, Mischa's gimmick, she's like a- oh. <laughs> That was careless of me, I'm sorry. Um, but basically the downside of it is that when they spit, spit out those little orb things, you can destroy them when you're normal, but, you see, I just press shift, uh, and you can't destroy them. So it's like power, and you, and yeah, it, it's like, it's like this is less powerful, but when you press shift it's more powerful, so it's like kind of a trade-off. Yeah, but this is the Mischa's gimmick, uh, she makes you kind of have a night blindness. Uh, I can handle it okay though. I just gotta kind of hang out down here. And that's what- I don't know, I haven't played an Embodiment of Scarlet Devil that much, so I don't know if this was the introduction of the enemy arrow, but this is where it comes in uh, handy, like you see down at the bottom, like it flashes red when you're hitting her, uh, and it's really useful on that fight since uh, you'll be like, not be able to see her a lot. And my foot's falling asleep, but uh, yeah. Also, I didn't get to do it last, but, like, uh, this game was earlier in the series, so it was before you could, uh, go to the top of the screen at any point to, uh, collect all the power-ups, but you can, like, there's a line set up there. But, uh, I'm at full power, and, well, I won't do it, but if I go to a, 
I'll try. Yeah, see if I go to a certain point at the top of the screen, then all the power-ups on the screen immediately kind of like zoom to me like that. Only if I'm at max power, though. Later in the series, uh, like, I don't know when it started, but, uh, eventually it, you, you could just do that automatically. Which I suppose kind of takes out the challenge, but, you know. I don't know. It might not. Since they just kind of got harder. <laughs> uh, but this is kind of regarded as one of the easier games. And I would definitely say so, although for some reason I'm a lot better at uh, Mountain of... Like, I can... I've gotten to, like, pretty far in Mountain of Faith on normal, and I can only ever beat this one on uh, normal. I don't know. I just really like Mountain of Faith. I don't know why I can just do it. Anyway, this is Kiane, and she's literally a wear cow. Like, literally. It's kind of weird. What's up? You're supposed to give me a life, aren't you? Oh, yeah, before this. I think I kind of remember this one. Yeah, I do. I vaguely remember the spell guards in this. I hate those big orbs. It's the uh, sword one where she sh shoots all the lasers. I, rem I remember Kianes because they're really kind of... They're cool. I like them. It's the cool ones I remember. I'll get better. Don't worry. Yes. Rex Roman. Uh, anyway. I'm actually doing a lot better than I thought I would. I died once because I was being careless, but, you know. Also, these have little Goomy fairies, look. Little Goomy Megapoid fairies. Or, sorry, Megpoid. I always say Megapoid. Me Megapoid sounds like a sounds like a a, a, go a monster in Godzilla. Also, I have not. I thought that said you were persistent. I've I've not anyway. I've not been using my uh, bombs a lot, and I need to because they're useful. I probably will. I'll I'll probably be forced to. Uh. But anyway, a bomb is basically like a huge, like, super move, and it will clear off all the bullets on screen. And also do damage, obviously. Anyway. This non-spell isn't that bad. A lost crisis. This one isn't that bad either. It's just kinda precise. I knew I was gonna risk it if I, uh, if I pressed the, uh, if I pressed shift, but I'm an idiot and did it anyway. Because, because that rule of he who dares wins does not apply to me. If the he who dares dies. Because <laughs> I have really bad luck. Uh, but... <coughs> Anyway. Oh yeah, this is... Is this the one with the lasers? Oh no. Oh crap. This is the one that I don't like that much. Yeah, but I need to get into the habit of bombing when I'm about to die. But the thing is, is that when I do that, then I uh, start bombing like crazy. Also, in, uh, oh yeah, this is the one for the Anyways, in case you were wondering, when it says, like, spell bonus, uh, or spell bonus failed, uh, you get a spell bonus when you, uh, destroy one of the boss's life bars without dying or bombing. If you die or bomb, you automatically fail the spell bonus, even if you get rid of one of their health bars. And I'm probably going to... <laughs> I didn't- I, I really didn't want to finish the sentence because I swear I was going to jank myself, but see, I got a pretty spell bonus there because I killed her without dying or bombing. But, uh, yeah. Toe is basically like a kind of like beat your score game, but it's also kind of beat the game game because it is quite hard. And now to try and defeat... <laughs> The lovely young lady who ended my run last time. Also, I love the song in this stage. 
It is great. I love it. I really love this song. I like it better than Marissa's theme. I'm just gonna say it. I was never that fond of Marissa's themes. I really like- I like Megasite. And Love Colored Master Sparks okay, but, you know. I don't know. I'm just not that big a fan of it. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is kind of where it stops messing around. As you can see with these aura fairies. But I have to give it- I have to give myself some credit. I'm doing a lot better than I thought it would be doing. Uh, I know. I'm doing okay. Also, it's probably just because it's a sunny day and I'm feeling good. All the estrogens. Getting... I know I'm almost- I almost backed up right into a bullet there as I was kind of like shifting my eyes slightly to look out the window. <laughs> I, I probably wouldn't have died there if I had uh, done something, but I also kind of wanted to show off the bomb and I just got a bomb anyway. Such a good shot. I just like this- I like this level just because of that part. Here she is, everyone's favorite, but not really not. Like, have you ever had that character in fiction who everyone, like, fawns over, but you're just like, yeah, she, like, they're okay. It's like, that's me with Marissa. Everyone's like, oh man, she's so awesome, and I'm like, mm, yeah, I guess. Uh, anyway. Like, I like her, it's just... She's not, like, the greatest, like, she's not the second coming of Jesus Christ or anything, you know? Ah, uh, Christ. Oh my god! I didn't even see that one! <laughs> oh no! Thankfully they do- I'm just gonna film it. Thankfully they do give you uh, invincibility frames after you die, so they're a little bit merciful in that sense to let you get all your power back and stuff. I just really want to see my hitbox right now, uh, and it's easier to see when you're in mode. That's another, uh, kind of perk of doing it, but... I think this is a bad one also. <laughs> oh crap, I remember this one! Oh my god! Wedding. <laughs> Anyways, now we're gonna chase. <laughs> I am literally. I was literally sweating. <coughs> oh God. Again, sorry. I'm trying to get over a pretty bad cold. Uh. But yeah, it. Again, don't watch the first video. But if you haven't seen it, Marissa ended my run last time. Uh, so, I just want to try. I w I'm going to try. I will attempt. And again, I just, uh, I really just want to see my hitbox right now. Bad, 
I, again, like when I, when I get into the habit of bombing, I I, I, I do it on impulse. I, I probably would have died there, so I'm like. Is this it? Oh no, there's one more. Coming up to the big one, folks. Here we go. The big boy. This actually isn't that hard. It's just... For me, it's the way the screen shakes. It just kind of takes my focus off of all the stars. I mean, in all respects, this is actually very easy, but I I know it, it's probably a lot harder on other difficulties, but, you know. Crap, I forgot about this one! I keep- I always think that's her last one! I first shift instead of bomb. I did it. Oh my god, I actually did it. The thing about uh, bombing, like right when you die, if you, if you get the timing right, then you can, uh, like, save, you can kind of, like, take out one of your bombs instead of one of your lives. In other words, I beat you! I've done it! Anyways, now to die immediately on the stage. I have one bomb and five lives. I'm- I'll probably get more bombs. I hope I will, but uh... Here we go. The song's okay too. Oh, don't max power. Darn it. The pure cage and the filth. Also, this runs on a time system. And to be entirely honest, I'm not sure how it works. I think if you hit 4 a.m., it's like automatic game over, and you and you gain more time by like dying and uh, using continues. I don't know. It's unclear. At least to me. And it. It just occurred to me that I said this this was the seventh game. It is the eighth game. I'm sorry, I always confuse it with Perfect Cherry Blossom. Uh, Perfect Cherry Blossom is the seventh, uh, and this one is the eighth. I'm sorry, I always get so confused. I'm bad at remembering things. Get out of here, funny fairy. Oh yeah, well, I should probably explain what's happening. Anyways, we've just been basically fighting, uh, in the plot, I mean. Hey, Towie. Uh, oh god! <laughs> and, uh, basically, we've been, uh, fighting all these, uh, yokai that we've been coming across, uh, just for, you know, just for getting in our way, basically. And, uh... Oh god. And, uh, I'm sorry, I always lose my train of thought because I'm trying not to die. Oh my god. How did I die there? Anyways, at least I got a life. But, uh... Anyways, as I was trying to explain. Alright. Uh... We've been basically fighting a guy who got- who's been getting in our way. Uh, and now we're actually kind of getting to the source of, uh, like, what's been happening here. So, and I forget 
the name of this place, but we're at kind of like the villain lair, quote unquote. Uh, this is the penultimate stage of the game. I should probably say that. Every uh, Sander Toho game has six stages. And this is the fifth one, in case you haven't been keeping track. I don't know why I was really silent. I don't know why! <laughs> it was something about seeing that face and seeing those ears that look like paper that made me kind of grin and I don't know why I <laughs> just started doing... I don't know, I have a weird sense of humor and I laugh at stupid things, so... <laughs> Let's blow her up and find out. This is Raisin. Uh, she's a rabbit from the moon. And here's... A villain. I and I'm pretty sure it is the uh Oh It is the uh villain uh, another interesting thing about Imperishable Knight, you can fight two final bosses. One of them it well I won't spoil. But uh basically the what basically the uh, one that you see right there or, I don't know, I've actually never fought the other one, but, uh, the one that you see right there is... Yeah, I don't like this boss a lot. <coughs> anyway, the one that you see right there, uh... Is the one that you will fight, as far as I can tell. But they kind of stole the moon, because they're from the moon, and they kind of want to go home. They're like, hey, this earth sucks. Anyways, this isn't going that well. I'll be straight up honest with you. I don't like my chances. This song's also really good. <laughs> I hate this one. Starting to sweat again. Huh. Ah. It's like as I get closer and closer. There I die. As I get closer and closer to the bottom, it's just more and more sweat is just pouring down my face. Also, I'm gonna try. I'm not. I'm gonna try and do this with no continues. If I can't, which I probably will, because I'm probably gonna die like on this next spell card. Then, you know, that's it. But I'll learn, you know. I'll learn. Idling wave. Oh, crap. What? What? Oh, no. Why did I bomb there? I was fine! Yeah, I know, you have eyes. I know, you have eyes. Alright. Oh! <laughs> this might be it. Oh man, that was fun. That was fun though. 
I actually uh, beat Marissa this time. And all things considered, that was a decent run as someone who sucks at video games. <laughs> anyway. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun. See you next time. Yeah,